Hi everyone and welcome to lesson 38 of learning JavaScript. In this lesson we'll be learning about rollovers. So we'll need some images on our page. I've got three images. I've got a baby, baby elephant and Barack Obama. But you can pick any images you like. So a rollover means that when you put your mouse on top of an image, that's, that's called a mouse over or rollover. Um, then we'll change the image into a different image and then when you take your mouse off the image that's called the on mouse out we'll return the image back to its original state so to do this we use two event handlers we use on mouse over and we use on mouse out so let's go and have a look at our HTML code we're going to link to an external script and then what I've done is I've also added a class of rollover into every single image that I want to become a rollover. You'll remember that we did an exercise previously on component arrays and one of the component arrays is document.images. So we can use that to our advantage. We, we don't know necessarily how many images we're going to have that we need to make rollovers. So I'm going to use a for loop to loop around the entire document.images component array. In that way, even if I have 50 images in the document, I can apply the same rules to each of the images. Okay, so in our JavaScript, once all the images have loaded, then I can continue. So we'll start by looping around every single image in the document. Starting at zero. document dot images dot length okay so I need to then create a variable for each image document dot images x and test to see if that image has a class of rollover because I'm obviously going to have some images in the document that I don't want to have rollover functionality. So we'll say if image dot class name. So that's how you do it in JavaScript. The class name property of an object always refers to its class. So if image dot class name is equal to rollover. then we're going to add two events to the image. So we'll say image dot on mouse over and we'll call a function and then we'll also have image dot on mouse out and we'll call a function. Okay so if you look at my pictures in my pics directory you'll see that I've made two versions of each image. So I've got a regular image and then I've made like a bit of a speckled version of the image. Almost like a cartoon effect or a sketch effect. So you can actually just create whatever effects you wish on your images. There's a nice speckled version of the image. Uh, you could maybe go black and white or a sepia or maybe add a border or drop shadow to the image. It's up to you. But the trick is that all your rollover versions of the image you should name underscore rollover. So I've got baby.jpg and now I've also got baby.jp baby underscore rollover.jpg and I've got baby elephant and I've got baby elephant underscore rollover and so on. So I'm going to set the source of the image to I'm going to search for using the replace function. I'm going to search for anything that ends with .jpg. Remember the regular expression. And I'm going to replace it with underscore rollover .jpg. And then I'm going to do the opposite when I take my mouse off the image. I'm going to say 
change the source in other words search for search for underscore rollover and replace it with an empty string okay I need to actually use this rather than image otherwise it's not going to work because I'm inside of a loop and remember this refers to the current image right let's have a look and there we have it as I move my mouse over the image it goes all speckled and I take my mouse off it goes back to the original image now one thing that we haven't done yet is all the preloading you might remember from the slideshow exercise that we had to preload all the images in our slideshow so that they load instantaneously there'd be nothing worse than m having to mouse over an image and waiting for that second image to download so when you upload this to the internet at the moment it's going to have a delay while that second image downloads so let's create a preloader to preload all of our rollover images there is quite a quick way of doing this because I am already in a for loop I can just create a a rule to preload everything that has the underscore rollover so if there's a class of rollover I will preload that image. So that means I need to create a preload array and then I'll say preload x is equal to a new image and then preload x dot source is equal to Well, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to say image.source, that's the existing source of the image, dot replace, search for JPEG and replace with underscore rollover dot JPEG. So that will actually land up loading, preloading the rollover version of that image and that's all we need to do let's test this and it still works and also just open up your javascript console by pressing f12 just to make sure that there are no javascript errors okay click on console there's no error so everything's in order and there we have a rollover script which works generically for multiple images all you have to do is give each image a class of rollover and then make sure you have two versions of each image you have the normal version plus the underscore rollover version and th the nice thing about this code is that you don't need to change the javascript once you want to add additional images all you do is you add the additional image give it a class of rollover make sure you've got the alternate version of the image and this script will just always stay the same nothing nothing needs to change in the script it will always preload the necessary images and swap the necessary images when you mouse over or mouse out on those images